Yes, people, the summer set Fabrizio Romano is back from the West Ham Transfer News show. Hope you are all well. Before I get into it, drop a like on the video, subscribe to West Ham Unofficial if you are new. There's been a more detailed um, transfer update from X um, on the West Ham Way website. So what we're going to do, we're going to um, uh, dissect it uh, and see what is going on with just two and a half days, two and a half days left of the transfer window. I haven't got books today. Um, I've gone technical and I've got it all wrote um, on to uh, onto this notepad here. Uh, technologically, it's a word now. So without further ado, let's get into it get into it we are going to start with Rafinha so uh, X has confirmed the reports that West Ham have made a move for the Leeds forward are true the bid however was swiftly rejected by Leeds who do not want to lose their star man the the situation could change, but but at this stage, it is not looking likely. It's also worth noting Leeds are trying to get um, the player on a new long-term deal. So we heard yesterday um, about this £50 million mystery bid from the Independent at West Ham. We've had a £50 million bid for a mystery striker rejected. And then this stuff yesterday came out about Rafinha, that perhaps uh, we have put in a bid of around £50 million for Rafinha, that of course here has been rejected. We don't know whether that was the player that the Independent was on about, but it may well could be because obviously it was rejected and they said the bid was rejected. So we don't know whether that was that, was that the £50 million mystery striker. That could have been that. But I thought, oh, you know, I, I, I trust X 100%. But oh, it's just really, really strange, the whole thing. We need a striker at this football club. And we've gone out and we all know David Moyes likes his right winger converted to striker, which Rafinha could do, or he could move to Bowen up top with uh, Rafinha on the right wing. It's incredibly unlikely because A, Leeds don't want to sell one of their best players in Rafinha. It's the 29th of January, which means there's two and it's 11.43 as I'm filming this. So there's two and a half days left. So even if Leeds were to, were to sell him today, that leaves two days for them to, so, to sign a right winger. It's just, an, it's just an unnecessary risk that Leeds won't take. Even if we put £50 million on the table, they probably value him of 80, 90, 100 million pounds because that's what he's worth to Leeds. That's not what he's worth to anybody else. That's what he's worth to Leeds. Very much similar to us with Declan Rice. It's really, really weird situation. I don't I don't expect us to go any further. I don't expect us to hear anything else about Rafinha. I'd be surprised if we up the ante more than fifty million because I wouldn't even have expected David Moyes to bid fifty million pounds for a player and I wonder more. I think that's our whole transfer budget. Or maybe Daniel's opened his checkbook. Who knows? But let's go on to do Coletta Card talks have intensified for the defender's signature with West Ham seeking a loan to buy arrangement. These talks have continued today in the hope that a compromise can be reached. Marseille do have financial problems, so they are eager to get a deal reached and cash in for the Croatian. We've been told previously that Marseille want around £15 million up front for Duj Kletakar. We are st sticking by very firmly our loan with an option to buy. So we loan him until the end of the season, I believe. And then we pay the 15 million quid at the end of the season. Marseille don't really want this, but they're in the middle of you know, they're in the middle of like, we need the money, but we want the money now. We don't want to loan and get the money at the end of the season. If Marseille stick to note 15 million, take it or leave it. I think we've just got to take it in this situation because we need a centre back. And I think he's the perfect option. I mean, I'm talking about Issa Diop as well. Um, yesterday, lots of reports came out about Issa Diop going up to the Toon, up at Newcastle. Now, the only way Diop is going to Newcastle is if we sign one or two centre-backs. If we sign Duce Kletikar for £15 million and we inflate the price for Issa Diop to Newcastle, as many other clubs have been doing, being smart when selling to Newcastle because we know they've got a bottomless pit of money, then, you know, I said on the network last night, we could sell Diop then for £20 million and then have a better centre-back and have gained £5 million. That makes sense. About the striker offer then, the £50 million striker offer, alternatively, if it was not for Rafinha. There's been plenty of talk in the press of West Ham making a £50 million bid for a striker. We can confirm this was not Dominic Calvert-Lewin. There are, there are, there are a number of forwards the club are keen on at present. Patrick Schick, Yusuf Inezri, Jonathan David, Bamba Dieng and Hugo Ekitike in particular on the list. Now, that's interesting um, because 
I haven't taken this from X's Patreon. I don't know whether it's on Patreon because I'm not a patron of X. This is just somebody's put this on Instagram and I'm just um, reporting what somebody said on Instagram. Um, Patrick Schick and Nesri, David, Dieng, Eki, Etikike. Um, I would take any one of them. Um, I mean, confirming that it's not Calvert-Lewin, which I suspected in a way, um, is interesting because that rules him out of the party. And Nesri, maybe David, maybe Dieng's not worth 50 million quid. Is Ekitike worth 50 million quid? Probably not. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Jesse Lingard is next on the list. On the back of stalled talks between Newcastle and Manchester United, West Ham are attempting to now reach a deal. However, I previously reported they are reluctant to negotiate with West Ham as a top four rival and, are, and there are issues to be resolved direct with the player. That's not the Best news to hear about Jesse Lingard. Obviously, we know Newcastle's out of the water for Jesse Lingard. Now he doesn't want to go there. Man United don't want to sell to us because they believe us as a top four rival. This is strengthening a top four rival, which I can understand, which is frustrating. Um, and the bit I don't like is there are issues to be resolved direct with the player, which is a little bit concerning as well. A couple of centre-backs to finish off with then. Firstly, Nat Phillips. The defender has told Liverpool he wants to leave and the asking price is believed to be £14 million. He's a target and also his, and, and also his dad has a close relationship with David Moyes. Nat Phillips, Douche, Kletikar, they're the two centre-backs we are most heavily linked with. I'd take any one of them or both of them, which would be a massive, massive plus. I mean, £14 million for Phillips, £15 million for Douge Kletikar. I'd prefer Kletikar, but I'd take Phillips if it's Phillips or nothing. I'd prefer them both, but one will do. Um, um, just to finish off on that, uh, it says the clubs are currently weighing this up alongside other targets, Kletikar. So we're currently weighing up in a centre-back option, Kletikar, Phillips, both. Which do we take or do we take both of them? And to finish off, some outgoing uh, news about Issa Diop. The rumours of Newcastle being keen on signing the Frenchman are true. However, with no replacement yet in place, the move cannot be sanctioned. This could change if a centre-back signing is made, as I said previously a, a couple of seconds ago. So if we sign a player like Nat Phillips or Douge Kletikar, that could mean we can inflate the price for Issa Diop and get more money for him. That could be very smart business that's a positive update from our most credible uh, West Ham in the know XWHU employee um, so that's that's good that's happy days and uh, hopefully we can uh, get at least one of these centre-backs over the line in the next day or so and then anything can happen on transfer day because our good friend Jim White says and, uh, a transfer can uh, go through in just two hours so we've talked about Rafinha perhaps um, or not perhaps coming to West Ham. Juj Kletakar, the striker, who's it going to be? Schick, Nesri, David, Bamba Dieng, Ekatike, who knows? I don't. Um, talked about Jesse Lingard, Nat Phillips and Issa Diop perhaps going to the tune. Now that is a quick eight minute stop uh, West Ham transfer news show. If you've enjoyed it, drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel. I'll try and make these as quick and as condensed with as much information in as possible. And now I can breathe. Come on, you minds, and I'll catch you later. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.